What's up everyone, Jacob Rothenberg here, and in today's video I'm actually going to talk about for Kindle Publishing how to market your books without using review swaps aka fake reviews and how to gain them organically. So this is a question that came from VS in my prior YouTube video asking for what suggestions uh, you guys wanted for video topics and I thought this one would be a great topic to handle. Reason being, it's been, <laughs> I think, in every publishing course, virtually every publishing course, the utilization of fake reviews to boost your nonfiction books. And look, everyone's done it at least once. I've certainly done my share of using review swaps, and I'm not going to pretend that I'm innocent of using them either. But uh, you have to realize, and I've realized too, that going forward, I really believe that review swaps will come to an end. Amazon will eventually get smart enough to detect them 100% and people will suffer the consequences. Now, if it's retroactive to where everyone who's ever used review swaps gets punished, that would suck. It's going to affect pretty much the entire Kindle community, in addition to products that use fake reviews. But, you know, we just hope, or I just hope, that maybe it's just only going forward that fake reviews will be punished much more severely than they are now, where you just get a warning letter uh, for most people. So, without further ado, I want to show you a book that I actually authored myself. It's from last year, April 6th. Uh, the date gives away quite quite clearly that I published this book well before taking any course, any my publishing blueprint. Before this was before my publishing blueprint ever existed. It's got 19 reviews. Last time I saw it, it had 16. Interesting. So that's a very fair distribution for reviews. These are all real reviews, by the way. And uh, the, the title of this book is E. Clan Tren Hard. And it's the guide for steroid use and powerlifting. And um, the whole hook behind it, back when I wrote this, is that it was truly the first book published about steroid use specifically for the sport of powerlifting. And I wrote the sales letter myself. I think it's pretty darn good. And believe it or not, it is my most consistent selling book of all time, even up until now. This book will, although it's not very high in volume, sells consistently almost every day throughout every month in any season. So by far, it's my most consistent title. It's Evergreen. It's all. It's an all organic production. Well, I mean, it's, it's not organic, it's synthetic, but uh, you, you get what I mean. It's um, something that I, na I naturally built myself without fake reviews, without review swaps, without any of that crap. And yeah, I'll get on, on that topic in a bit. But to show you what I did to get these reviews, well, I want to actually just see what my reviews say because there's some newer ones. Um, let's, for my own curiosity. Uh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Yeah, there is no PCT because I didn't want to cover it. All right. So one person out of 19 thought it, this was so-called useless. Eh, fair enough. But um, just to show you, like, look at how the dates range for purchases here on the reviews or for the review postings. It's all over the place. This is not something that I faked. And now I'll show you how I did it show you exactly how I did it. So there is a website called reddit.com where basically you can have access to discussion boards, forums for a whole plethora of topics. And I used to be a regular poster in the powerlifting section of Reddit. So what I did was before I had any idea that I'd be writing a book or publishing a book, with that is I was a participant of powerlifting in Reddit and I was just posting constantly. 
And then I thought to myself, hey, I'm going to write a book about this topic. It's about powerlifting, somewhat. <laughs> and I could leverage my community engagement in Reddit to promote this book. So what I did is, first of all, whenever you promote something on Reddit, if it's especially a, a more popular section, you always want to get permission from the moderators to promote your uh, content, your piece, whatever. So I clearly wrote here, note to the mods, I had prior approval to post from two staff members to cover my butt. So like, hey friends, I've published the first book about steroids for powerlifting. Um, I noticed during my time here on this section of Reddit uh, that there hasn't been a lot of solid information. So here's what my book will uh, cover for you, what's included. And also, as a bonus, this book is free for the next five days exclusively here on Reddit. In exchange for this being free, I kindly ask you if you can write an honest review about my book on Amazon. You don't need a Kindle to view this book. Your PC will be able to open the file. And then I provide a link to the book. So, uh, and obviously it had, it had an awesome reception on Reddit. Getting 185 upvotes naturally is really freaking hard. So <laughs> it did really well as a free promotion to the section. And that's how I got my 19 reviews. In truth, I had about, I think, 700 free downloads. Maybe, yeah, so let's just say 700. 700 free downloads. And although the free downloads don't spike up the book in organic ranking, I did get most of my reviews that way. Uh, just by, out of those 700 downloads, about 16 people originally were kind enough to leave me a, a review. So that's pretty straightforward on how I did get organic reviews for this book. And I have other books too that I've authored that have completely real reviews. So if I were to even just type in my own name and hey, I'll be transparent with you. Uh, not all my reviews are good. You know, see these I had <laughs> some mixed reviews on my first works, deservingly so. Like this was my first ever title. I didn't even know what Kindle Publishing was. It was this is an eight page article that I sell for 99 cents. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't do so well. It doesn't sell. I don't care for that. It was, it was experimental. And then this was my second one. It was like a 30-page uh, pamphlet, just purely as an ebook. I, I, knew, I knew I never even wanted to sell a paperback of this. But I sold this for $2.99. And after time, I did get better with, with uh, publishing. And I did produce the Eat, Clean, Trend Hard book. And then this was my last self-authored book under my real name for Raw Conjugate. I think it's my best book of all time, but the market thinks that the Eat Clan book is better. But uh, this is something that I wrote myself and all the reviews are real. So um, this one, I didn't even really promote it. I just let it sit in the Amazon store and it got reviews. So. Sometimes you just let it sit, and if the book is good, the market will decide it's worthy of getting some five-star reviews. And so that's about it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, um, I don't think that having like an advanced reader group, um, like there are for fiction groups, would be very beneficial. I think you're better off, honestly, leveraging social media to get real reviews for your nonfiction titles. So. Be creative, think of what you can do, you know, engage in communities that you're a part of, maybe for something that you're very passionate about. Don't be too cynical about it. Don't be in there just to like, hey, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna post for a bit and then use all you guys for some reviews for my book. Now, be genuine about your approach to help people or inform people. And then from there, you're like, hey, I have something I wanna like give to you guys for free. And if you like what this is all about in exchange, can you just write me an honest review? And, you know, keep it pretty chill and pretty mundane. So um, that's really about it, guys. Like, I'll be very honest with you. And it sounds hypocritical, and it is. But I've always hated, from the very beginning, being dependent on using fake reviews for niches and subjects that I, that I didn't really have time 
or the effort or even the know-how to promote. So I am shifting my publishing business to now no longer utilizing review swaps or fake reviews. I know it sounds like I'm full of crap, but I am because like I said, Amazon will catch on. It's going to suck for everybody. And I don't want to be the guy that doesn't know how to promote books uh, do, without doing so genuinely and authentically. So I have something in mind with shifting how I get my reviews done. And it will even ultimately shift what books I publish for and how I approach building an audience for a very specific niche. And from there, depend not so much on even rankings or reviews for my book, but instead the power of my audience, my email list, and so on, and have promotional abilities for my books or a series of books that I plan on promoting. So I'm, I'm, I don't want to really reveal yet what I've got in stock exactly. I've given you the general overview, but stay tuned on my channel. Um, I can't really call out an income claim without actually backing it up. But I think with one book, I can make $10,000 in the first month with just one book. And so I'm going to document that journey. And when I get some more work done on this in a few weeks, I'll, I'll even reveal exactly what this is all about. And I'll show you how I'm doing things step by step. And hopefully I can reach that milestone of $10,000 in one month with one book without cheating. It's all going to be white hat. It's all going to be uh, very beneficial for you to watch and learn. And you're going to also, most of all, learn transferable online marketing skills that you can use not just for books, but affiliate products, your own products, educational courses you might be promoting or an affiliate for, etc. So stay tuned, guys. I've got more content coming. Yes, we are shifting away from playing dirty <laughs> like I did with Fortnite and all that other crap. Um, I think all that, 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 it was, that was really a realization when I had to shut all that shit down. Like Things have to change. So I'm playing co completely clean from now on, believe it or not. Like the guy that was like, uh, yeah, I, I was not playing very clean at all. But now we're shifting over to playing clean and I look forward to showing you exactly how to do it and how to do it very successfully, better than all the others. So until then guys, stay tuned.